we are going to discuss numerical summarization pattern overview. We know that we are supposed to deal with huge data in our big data and here we are trying to get some summary out of the similar data and to get that one we are supposed to do some summarization design pattern implementation. So, in this case we are having multiple different types of categories. So, let me discuss there is a numerical summarization pattern overview where obviously the calculation will be done on some numerical field. So, what is numerical summarization pattern? The numerical summarization pattern is used to find the statistical values over the data set. Statistical values means we can go for say mean, median, mode, standard deviations, we can go for variance, we can count the number of times or the count of the key values that are appearing and so on. The intent is very simple, we should group the whole data set on key values and then perform the numerical operations for each of the group to get the top level view of the larger data. That means, here we are not interested for individual data, but here we are going to get some conclusive data, some summarized data that is the top level view of the data. So, there are mainly two conditions to satisfy for numerical summarization patterns. So, two conditions are there. The first one is that we need to deal with the numerical data. Because if I want to calculate the variance standard deviation average, then obviously we need to deal with the numerical data only. And the data can be grouped by some specific fields. Then obviously, because if we can form groups, then only we can go to get some conclusive result. Different numerical summarization pattern. In this section, we will discuss three different types of numerical summarization patterns and they are min max count task, then inverted index task and counting with counters. So, let us discuss all these different kinds of summarization patterns, numerical summarization patterns in our next videos. Thanks for watching this.